In the last episode, we learned how to use inverse kinematic to animate the upper body of a 3D character and use it in VR. And in this video, I will show you how we can improve this by adding legs. If you are interested in learning more, I will post an extra episode on my Patreon where I will show you how to use custom hands with this VR body, so go check out the link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so we are back where we were at the end of last episode with the Robot Kyle 3D character. As you can see, we can modify the body with three points which can be used in VR with the headset position and the two controller position to animate the full body. As some of you observed at the end of last video, there is a little bit of delay between the velocity of the head compared to the body. So before continuing, let me show you how to fix this. And to do this, it's really simple. We just need to open the VRBrick script we made and instead of doing the calculation in the update function, we need to do it inside the fixed update function. And here we go, now the body has no delay with the head. Perfect. In this episode, we will need the legs, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in the rig and set the scale of the hips bone to be uh, 1, 1, 1. Now that the legs are showing, we will need a walking animation for them. So this tutorial works with any walking animation, but in my case, I will use this walking animation from Mixamo that you will find a link in the description. I want this animation to be in place, so I will check this here, and now I can download it with a FBX format for Unity. And here we go, now we can click download. Okay, perfect, now that it's downloaded, I can drag it in my project. So if we were to use this animation like this, it would not work. The reason is that the rig of Robot Kyle is not set up exactly like the rig used on this animation. We need a way to link the two and to do this we will use the Unity avatar. So first I will go in the 3D model of Robot Kyle and you see in the rig section we can set the animation type to be humanoid and click on applied. Ok perfect, now we have an avatar for 3D model and we can see it here if we click on configure. As you can see, the avatar linked all the bones of our robot Kyle into the appropriate slot. And the typo seems good, so if you need, you can even edit the pose to make the animation much better, but as I want to keep this tutorial a VR tutorial and not an animation tutorial, I will not go into details here, but if you want to know more, I will put some link in the description below. So now let's click on down to go back to our scene. Finally, we need to do the same with the walking animation, so I will select it and change the animation type to humanoid now and click on applied. Once again, you can see that fortunately for us, the avatar is well configured and the T-pose is going well. Ok, now everything is ready, we can now use the animation. So I will go back in my scene and select Robot Kyle. Now we can select the walking animation and drag it in the inspector and as you can see, this will automatically create an animator and configure by default animation to be played in the animator which is pretty nice. One last thing we need to do is set the avatar on the animator to be the avatar of Robot Kyle we made and as we want this animation to loop, we can select it, go to animation and below here click on loop pose and then apply it so that the animation will loop infinitely. Be careful here, sometimes when changing the animation, it can be removed from the animator, so I simply need to drag it back into the animator. And here we go, now we can click on play and perfect, you can see that we can still control the arms with inverse kinematic from the last episode, but the animation is playing on the legs. However, we have now two more problems. First, the hands are moving a little bit with the animation, and second, the legs pass through the ground. So let's work on these issues. To fix the first one, let's get in the animator panel and click on the layer settings. Now as you can see, we can create a mask here to mask a certain part of the animation applied on our 3D character. So I will quickly create a new avatar mask by right clicking in the project windows, create avatar mask. And now we can uncheck the whole upper body so that the animation will only move the legs. And there you go, it's much better now. Now for the second issue, this is a bit trickier. 
we need to modify procedurally the walking animation so that the 3D character will bend his knee when we go down instead of passing through the ground. So let me show you how we can make this easily using another IK feature from Unity, which is the IK integrated in the animator component. First, I will select our robot Kyle and create a new script called VR Foot IK. In this script, we will need a private reference to the animator that I will call animator and that we can access at the start of the game with animator equals get component animator. Now to modify the animation, we need to do it inside the onAnimatorIK function which is a function called automatically by the animator. In this function, I will need the position of the right feet that I can get with vector3 right foot pose equals animator.getIK position with the avatar IK goal dot right foot. Now to get the ground position from that feet, we can shoot a raycast that goes down from one meter above the feet with a raycast it that I will name it and then we can check if we hit the ground with bool as it equals physic raycast right foot pose plus vector 3 dot up and so we want it to go down so vector 3 dot down out it and this will give us if we hit the ground so if we hit we can set the ik position of the right feet by first giving a weight which is the amount of influence the IK will impact the animation. And for this, I can create a new public float variable called right foot pose weight, set it initially to one and make it range from zero to one. Now we can set the weight first with animator.set IK position weight and with the right foot, so avatar IK goal dot right foot and right foot position weight and finally set the IK position with the position we found on the ground with our raycast by calling animator.set IK position avatar IK goal dot right foot it point. In the case that we did not find any ground I will simply set the weight to zero. Okay, perfect. Now we can do exactly the same for the left foot. So I will just copy and paste this code below, create the left foot pose weight variable and change the right foot by left foot here. And here we go, now let's save our script and go back to Unity. And the only thing that we need to do on the Unity editor is say that our animator use IK. So to do this, let's select the animator once again and in the layer parameter, let's check the IK pass parameter. And now let's hit the play button to see what we've done. And here you go, awesome, the foot IK works. As you can see, the knee are bending when we go down, awesome. However, I think we can do better than this. As you can see, the foot path through the floor, so let's fix this issue. To fix this issue, we simply need to use an offset for the foot. So I will create a new public vector 3 variable called foot offset, and I will add it to the hit point when we set the IK position. Next, to improve the position of our feet, I will also set the rotation of the feet to match the ground. So to do this, I will create two more weight variables, right foot position weight and left foot position weight. That will once again range from 0 to 1. And now in the on animator IK, if we have a ground, I will compute the rotation I want for my right feet with quaternion foot rotation equals quaternion dot look rotation with vector3 dot project on plane transform dot forward it dot normal and it dot normal. So here what the lock rotation does is create a rotation that has as a forward axis this value and as a up axis this value. So by setting the up axis of our feet to be the normal we hit, we make sure that the feet lays flat on the ground. And for the forward axis of the feet, we use the forward axis of the 3D character. The project on plane function makes sure that the forward and up axis we give to the lock rotation are perpendicular. 
So if you have any question about this particular line of code or any other part of this tutorial, let me know in the comment section below and I will be glad to help you. Now that we have the target rotation that we want, we can as before set the weight of the rotation on the right feet, then set the rotation with the target rotation we now have and finally do the same for the left feet. Now let's save our script and press play. Ok so now I can set the value of our offset during play and as you can see I think that this value seems pretty nice. Perfect and as you can see now our feet follow exactly the position of the ground and this will work on any surface. Awesome. And that is basically it. We succeeded to add animation and use foot IK to control the position and rotation of the legs. Now you can use it with any walking animation system that you need for your game. And this is what I will show you in the next episode of this tutorial series, which will come very, very soon. If you enjoyed this series so far, make sure to leave a like below and share it to help the video to be recommended by YouTube to other VR devs just like you. As I said in the intro, I will post an extra episode on my Patreon where I will show you how to use custom hands with this VR body, which I think will be great. And on this subject, a big shout out to my new Patreon, you guys have been a lot recently, which is awesome. And if you have any question and want to meet the best VR community in the world, go check out the Discord channel below. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.